Today, I'm going to be reading you a story about a vine named Basil and a gardener. So that's why you'll see I'm in my gardening clothes. I've got my overalls on, my work boots and my tights. That's very important for gardening. And most importantly, uh, my hat and my warm woolen jumper. Ah, now before we start though, I need to tell you a joke. So here it goes. What do you call a cow that twitches? Beef jerky! Okay, it's story time. So grab a chair and I'm going to read you The Gardener and the Vine. It's by Andrew McDonough. On a wild, lonely hill, on a thin, scraggly vine, lived a branch named Basil. Basil never visited anyone, and no one ever visited Basil, until the day the gardener came. The gardener looked up and down the vine. Basil, he said, you're exactly the branch I've been searching for. Basil looked over his shoulder to check if there were any other branches named Basil nearby. Not the gardener was talking to him. I have good news and bad news, said the gardener. The good news is you're going to grow lots of grapes. Excellent, said Basil. And the bad news? I need to catch you off this scraggly vine. Oh, said Basil. I think you've got the wrong branch. Trust me, Basil. I'm a good gardener. Basil thought about the bad news. Then he thought about the good news. Okay then, said Basil, I'm in your hands. So the gardener took his snippers, snip, and placed Basil into his bag. This is the end, cried Basil. No, said the gardener, this is just the beginning. Down the wild, lonely hill they climbed, away from the thin, scraggy vine. Across the hot desert, over the snowy mountains, through the jungly jungle, and into a beautiful garden. And there stood a magnificent vine. Wow, said Basil. Now that's a vine. Basil, said the gardener, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you're going to grow plenty of grapes. The bad news is I need to cut the vine. No, said Basil, you can't cut this magnificent vine. Trust me, Basil, I'm the gardener. The gardener took his snippers, snip, and cut deep into the vine. Then the gardener took Basil and placed him deep into the cut in the vine. And the gardener wrapped around and around joining Basil and the vine. This is the end, cried Basil. I'm going to die. No, said the gardener. This is a new beginning. Get ready to live. Then a new strength and a new life surged through Basil. And the rain's coming down even more. Basil, said the gardener, meet the vine. Welcome, Basil, said the vine. I have good news and great news. The good news is you're now part of me. And the great news, asked Basil, we're going to produce plenty of grapes, said the vine. And sure enough, that summer, Basil and the vine produced plenty of grapes, thanks to the gardener. Now I'm going to go back a few pages because this story is actually a picture story of Jesus. So if we say that God is the gardener and the vine 
is Jesus, who do you think that the branch might be? That's right, the branch is us. So the gardener is God, the vine is Jesus, and we're Basil. Now, just like the vine having to get cut and bleed, Jesus died on the cross for us. But then Jesus became alive again and gave us new life. And so, just as Basil was able to trust the good gardener to get new life through the vine, we can trust God, our Father, to get new life through Jesus, his son. Goodbye.